Hello, everybody. We are doing something new today. So I finished Planet Coaster last week, and I thought I was going to take a break from playing some games and try something new. Um, I haven't done this in a while, just off camera, so I thought I may as well just try it again, see how it goes. Um, we're going to be writing a one-shot today. So if you don't know what a one-shot is, it's for any role-playing game, for, but specifically I'm going to use 5e uh, for Dungeons & Dragons slash 1D&D, whatever you want to consider it at the moment. Um, and we're going to write a story that can hopefully be wrapped up in about three to four hours of gameplay. Um, I haven't picked out a level. I haven't picked out a theme. I haven't picked out anything because what we're going to do is use a bunch of random generators to help give us like prompts and then improv off of that to make our story and try to get it done in these couple hours. I normally write them in about an hour, but I'm going to take a little more time because we're going to try to translate it over to an actual like written document. I've never published one of my one shots before. I've only used this website once and it was years back for a uh, item that I made. Here, we'll see if I can actually open this. O open, share, edit, edit looks right. Um, Cause I had sketched this quickly. It was essentially an auto injector of you take damage and you get healed because we had a one shot that was very deadly and we didn't have a healer so I had made this to try to get them through it, but we might make some items like that on small item cards, or we might just stick those items straight into the um, document. I have two documents here. One is the one where I actually edit, and then this is the <laughs> just web page version in case I lose something and need to snip it back over. Um, so that might that'll probably take up a lot of the time is figuring out the actual layout there, but I'm gonna try not to waste a lot of time like coding and finicky with it because I'll just go back and fix it at the end after stream anyway um so yeah that's the plan we're gonna write a one shot if anyone is in chat throughout this um and has something they want to see or is like oh that's a stupid ass idea let me know uh it'll be a little bit of your input too that i'll take into consideration for this i am by no means an expert i think i've written and ran probably close to 10 one shots um and then like pieces of a campaign once so the one shots i've written so far were a bank heist, a like haunted theme park, a zombie mall, like more modern one, um, a bunch of just like quick ones that I wrote like day of. So people were like, oh, I can't make it. So during the day before our session, I wrote something and that included like a, a board game where each space you would have to do like a challenge. There was one that was think it was just mostly like combat-y um but just a, a mix of them and I, I pretty much never saved them they are just a notepad document I ran it went cool that was fun and deleted it it's, they might actually be somewhere here I guess we can check my old D&D folder um let me see if I can remember how I store my stuff so these were recent ones um oh these are actually ones I downloaded so I could use if I got stuck here as like how to write. Let me see if I have anything on here. Not documents. I guess not here. They might be in my OneDrive, but I just wiped my OneDrive out. It's a lot of, a lot of videos. Um, yeah, I don't. It doesn't look like I have one here that I can easily pull up, which sucks. Um, I thought I might have one written around. Oh, here we go. Here are... So these are ones that I wrote recently, kind of using this same format. Um, and this is the entire one shot. <laughs> shot. So uh, don't even ask me what half this means because I wrote it. So this one's a little longer because I think we actually ran this one. But so like this is just NPC blocks or enemy blocks. Um a little bit of the story and that's it and then I just improv them so I'm gonna to try to put a little more detail in this and see what we come up with so enough with that enough with the intro let's get to this so the first thing we're gonna do is pick three random magic cards I'm actually gonna do four um, so we want a land which is gonna be kind of our setting mostly for like the biome more than anything else our first non-creature card is gonna be like the the main idea so i'm just gonna call it the theme 
first creature is going to be the main character. I say main character. Obviously, the players are, but this is like the main character outside of them that you meet. Either it's the person you're chasing, the person who gives you the story, just whatever's kind of driving it along, and which is similar to what we're going to do um, here. I used to do this with actual magic cards, but I can't really show that on stream as easily. I just had boxes of them. So we're just going to use a, a generator online. And artifact's going to be the equivalent of a MacGuffin. It might not be what we chase. It might just turn into an item that like the players have to help drive the story. Um, but I, I really think my favorite part of D&D &D writing is making little fun items. And so I want to make sure we get at least one fun item in here. So yeah. Let's go with this one. I think both of these are magic card generators. Random card. Let's do this. Okay. Which, this is now Wizards, which is funny, because when I first started doing this, they weren't the same company. <laughs> but now I'm just, you know, stealing their ideas and putting them back in. So... Oh, I have no idea what the visit mechanic is. That must be new. So we have a Ferris wheel, which is something as an item. And then I try to keep like their text block just because sometimes that helps me with inspiration as far as like what we're going to do. I've never really done flavor text, but that might be fun as well to consider. So let's go here. Perfect. It keeps it italicized. So. So far, we have an item to work with. Next, let's roll this again. An instant. So we got Sprouting Vines. Okay, I wasn't thinking about a theme park one, but it's kind of kind of looking like potential already. A lot of the times, I just use the name instead of like any of the flavor text, but it just depends. So I want to make sure we have it all written down so I don't have to Google it later. Okay, so we need a land and a creature. Perfect creature. Ooh, we got a zombie. This is feeling very <laughs> much like I can combine a couple of the ones I have made before into one story. So. Per oh, nice. I like how the copy paste actually for the white tapped. Um. I don't know, well coded, I guess, in my opinion. Okay, and then we just roll till we get a land. We've gotten lucky so far. Can we go four for four? Fuck. Okay. Sometimes I'll also get past a card while I'm like trying to get to the right type, and it'll just be so good that I want to make one. And that's why those help wanted one shots that I kind of scrolled through. That was what that was. Is I wanted to write like three different ones. Okay, a jungle shrine. Okay. So, what we have to work with here for this one shot is a jungle shrine setting, which I don't, again, all of this is just a guide. <laughs> None of it's set in stone. If I don't like it, I just kind of pick a different one, but I generally try to go with it because I think the constriction is fun. Um, anyway, uh, we got sprouting vines as a creature, so probably going to have some living plants. Um, oh wait, no, this was our creature. Zombies, so got a jungle shrine, zombies, vines growing up all over the place, which is just a theme, and a ferris wheel. So I am going to try to, um, since I'm squire, just ask what this, what is this? Um, essentially we're taking these themes, which were generated by random magic cards, and we're going to be writing a story to make a D&D one-shot, uh, which I would love to run on stream if we have a one-shot that is available for any of my groups and would want to run this, that'd be great. But for the moment, we're just writing it because I thought it'd be something to try to fun to do, trying to do that's fun on stream. Um, we're also going to generate some art to go along with it and then write it in and try to then just publish it on DMs Guild for people to use. I've never published anything there, so it's a bunch of just trying it and seeing how it goes. Okay, so I don't really care about the cost 
it was just easier than copy pasting it there. Um, I'm fine with Naya being a god for the shrine. I don't really need any of this. So. Okay, Sprouting Vines, search for basic land, review it. So, Storm, we can copy it. So my thought here is the shrine is being surrounded by vines. And it is breaking like breaking statues and like the rocks of it apart. So it's slowly collapsing in the structure. Also, you're gonna have to mind my spelling, it's terrible. So I'll have to do a lot of edits as I go. So, and then that could remove areas that you could access. It's kind of like a timer system that might be able to keep this under like the right amount of time to be a single session. Okay. And God, I don't really want zombies in here. I'm thinking non-humanoid zombies. So like zombie animals. I played a character once that was kind of controlled by vines. And I like that of like these vines are taking control and controlling the animals or the enemies just in general. So vines control a, I will just say zombie creatures. So they kind of a mix of the two. Probably use zombie stat blocks and then just flavor it with vines. Um, that would work too. Uh, so here we'll note that. So I'm gonna turn things into zombies, large bugs. Okay. I will also unformat all this because it's just gonna get annoying. There we go. So, but we will pop these to be bold. So just so we know what the actual card was. Uh, this one's just a note, jungle shrine, it's land. And then how are we gonna fit a Ferris wheel into this? It seems very odd to have a, like, Ferris wheel in the middle of this. What is Naya the God of? Do, do, do. Five shards of Alara, shit. So Naya's a location, not a God. Well, fuck. Um, let's see here. Geography. Low elevations. King. Oh, I thought it said it. rainfall of blood. Christ, okay. Rampant vegetation. See, you got fungi here. Termites. That's what color. Um, yeah. I don't really want to make it. It could just be a shrine to the to the jungle itself, but I don't know if that's a good description of it. I normally don't care too much about the actual backstory of these things, but it would be fun to at least have a name to go with it. Um, man, it, these are some some ads for sure. That's a thing. Okay, so let's do. Okay, so yeah, my thought was uh, kind of the same thing. Damn, I should have said it first. Now it sounds like I'm copying. Um, was the word... Actually, let me scroll away from these. These Oh my god, they're worse. Okay, we'll go back over here. Um, was, yeah, more of a water wheel in the middle. So a river comes through the shrine, moves this water wheel that gives the place power of some sort. Or even it just, like, scoops up water to another spot to water... Like, bring water into the shrine. So I think we're gonna change Ferris wheel to like a water wheel. And I think that's a good plot to start with is our water wheel here is broken. It's not spinning and that is causing some issue. And we'll figure out what that is here in a bit. 
so. Oh my god. Fingers, come on. So there's the general. So this is not the god. Let's figure out some 5e gods of plants. Something along those lines. Forest Father, God of Nature. It's the first one. Sylvanas rings a bell. Um, because we're going random with some of this stuff, let's just roll a random number. So two, five, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty one, twenty two. So, through. Oop, that's two. Generate. So, 14. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So, to pan. Sure, why not? Not exactly who I was going for. I don't think, see if pan as much as like a creator god, but that's fine. Mountains, nature, passion, shepherds. Good enough. Okay. So. To pan. Spreading vines covering, collapsing the structures. So I think these vines. Um, so my thought, if it's causing the place to collapse... Erosion is obviously one thing, but it could be more of a magic cause of like the water is what keeps this shrine running. So there's the water has some magic presence to the shrine and is holding it together. And so these vines stopping the water wheel are causing it to kind of collapse as a whole, both like magically and physically. So something we'll just start there. Growth of vines. That is stopping water flow through the shrine. Causing the structure to fall apart. I'm just going to say because it's lacking the magic brought from the water. Not how I want to word it, but it's just a good note for now. Okay. So, the vines are controlled by something and are able to act as arms in places as well as uh, control creatures. Can this hit players? Okay. So that's kind of our our start here. Um, is there a way to survive slash recover once controlled? And that's our basics. So, because I want to throw the art into here at the same time, let's pop open Night Cafe. I'm not an artist by any means. I make a lot of AI generated art because I find it fun. And then I post it on Instagram because it gives me free credits. If you follow me on Instagram and see that and go like, why the fuck does he post so much? That is why. Um, I don't care if people leave likes. It doesn't matter to the, <laughs> the credits. I just use it to generate free stuff. So I have made a lot of art, especially recently. So yeah, let's try to see if we can make a water wheel covered in vines. Let me get back to that one. I think I might want to copy some of these as far as like the back end prompts, but I think this is just, I don't actually know. So let's pop this into stable. This is our basis. We are going to take this. <laughs> yeah. Showing off my amazing creations. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can see exactly how I make them. They're not a ton of effort. Um, I enjoy them though, but they just added challenges to this. I'm gonna pop out of that real fast. 
and you can make like your own things so like this is the first one i've entered and it did okay actually like this is the one that won i wasn't that far behind it but my one today is not doing as well 3.28 but I like the idea of the voting, which also this ends in 38 minutes, so we'll just uh, we'll run that live as well while we're on today. So let us make this art. So we want a, it's called a water wheel, right? I think that's the name of it. One of my keys is sticking. I poured water on my keyboard yesterday on accident, so hopefully my keyboard doesn't freak out again. Oh, would help if I spilled water right. Okay, so that is exactly what we want. We'll see if this will even recognize it. Covered in vines in a jungle. I want to say shrine, but I'm not sure if it's going to like that or if I should do ruin. Um, so overgrown plants. I want in there stream. Do I want it raining? I don't think I care for this image if it's raining. And I always just generate the four because you're just getting a better value than the one. And this has a tendency to come out with some shit things. So like, this is the one I entered today for my art. Um, and like, these ones are, actually those are all okay examples for that prompt. Let's do this one. So it just like, sometimes it's just real weird. It doesn't look good. So, here we go. Here's our first image. Honestly, not terrible. I'm between the bottom two. Neither of them are in a shrine. This one kind of has like the stair feel to it. That looks like it could be. Hmm. It doesn't have to be in a shrine. Like I don't, I don't care about it being perfect. Again, this is AI generated. So, um, I'm thinking probably this one is the best. If anyone disagrees on these and thinks a different one's better, let me know. And we will download these so we can embed them into our actual writing later. What else would we want here? Do we need any other images? Let's try to do just the same style for this. Do overgrown stone shrine to the god Pan. I want to say jungle in it and see if that can give us if it has a satyr in it i'll be happy i'm allowed to use 100 credits today i've been saving them up from my weekly creations which if you didn't know um on my youtube channel that one generates not this one on my gaming channel not you i post every week a weekly theme of ai art that comes up, I just spin a wheel and see what it comes up with and then make art based on it. Um, I just put the video here of, let me, I can't really mute it, of just the art that I come up with. Oh, there it is. And you can scroll through so you don't have to follow the Instagram or anything. I post on Twitter and Instagram because that's what Night Cafe wants. But it's just, here's the art I came up with for this theme for the week, the end. Oop, that's not what I want. I don't want to share this. Get out of here. Um, none of these really look like pan, but I don't dislike the shrine. I was hoping for like a bigger building, but I'm okay with this. I kind of like this one with the little stream in the background. I didn't even specify it, did I? No. But this one's also kind of nice with it in the pool. Kind of gives it more of a centerpiece feel. And it's a little more ornate. I don't hate the like the sculpture ones, but I don't like their structure as well. So I like this as almost like a fountain vibe to it. So we'll, we'll get that. Okay. So first two images done. Let us start this story see the zombies were supposed to be more of a plot driver so we're gonna need someone to give us the story either it's just gonna be written on a wall but I need someone's name in case they want to go visit them um, I don't know which I want less 
Japanese ads for some questionable websites or Republican ads. Hmm. It's a tough call. I don't really want either. So, let's pop on to... Um... We'll just do MPC Generator. We'll use this for a lot of this. We'll just keep it completely random for now. Because we'll only use part of this. So, Fabian... He's heavily allergic to orcs? What the fuck does that mean? Um, he doesn't worship any god. Again, doesn't matter. We're mostly using it for the name. So, quest given by this dude. We'll kind of keep this basic stuff. Yeah, I don't actually care about his allergy to orcs. And I don't think the scar is going to come out right in the AI. So we're going to get rid of it. Well, we can leave it scar on his arm doesn't matter what I want to do is then take this semi description and see what it comes up with on night cafe so this is gonna take a couple copies let me open another tab pop open night cafe and find farther down that's the wrong button I have some D&D &D style portraits. Let's see what I can find. So like, I think this one has the right text in it. Okay, this is more what I wanted. So, we need to put in this information. So short wavy brown hair, shade on the left side. We're just gonna do a comma there for brown eyes then see if it'll even do this it doesn't really like details on the further body but okay let's throw in the basics here he's supposed to be slightly muscular so let's also throw that in so i want to cut that So we just care about a portrait. Actually, we won't even specify portrait. We'll see what it comes up with. White hair, shape left side. Is he gonna assume man? We'll just say that to clarify. Um, and we'll have to delete some of this other stuff. We can probably take out, I don't care about as much as it focusing on his eyes, so we can take that out. I have no idea what half these mean, by the way. I've copied these from other people's things. <laughs> I don't really need shiny, I don't think. How many more words are we going to take out? We already have fantasy, so let's just pop that one as well. Um, I think we should have concept art. Fuck it. Let's just take that out. Okay, let's run this. So while that's working, we'll check back in a minute. So he is, what we're going to do is just delete this and we're gonna just going to use the image that it gives us as our, then how we write the description later, or I'll just put a picture in so that the DM can just describe what they see, however they want to do it. So the shrine is degrading and is looking for someone to investigate. He's gonna give them an item. So what we're gonna do is pop back onto our random card generator here and get another artifact. Because I love art making items. That's the name generator, God damn it. Okay, first artifact we hit is what we're gonna use. Artifact creatures acceptable, I don't care. Oh, fuck. Okay, I mean, sure, whatever. Do I care much about what this says? No, but I do like the image. What I should do is crop these, save the image, and then throw it into the AI generator. 
but we're just gonna keep it so it's all our all of our artwork so there's no like official plagiarism even if we're taking names um so yeah we're gonna give him a ward of bones grants the player a ward of bones does that interacts with plants or the shrine we'll figure that out in a minute here but oh geez that was I did say muscular. Hmm. I didn't really need the full body shot. I probably should have specified like armor, but <laughs> I guess we're gonna use this one here. This one's actually okay too, and just gets it gets that side shave. This one gets the scar better. Do we like pecs better, um, or this? W which one of these images? One, two, three, or four? Uh, hi, Glorious Zote. Yeah, so we're making some art while writing a one-shot to then put into a full, like, essentially publishable one-shot. Uh, it'll just be the kind of the bare bones for this first, for the stream, and then I'll clean it up at the end and publish it. So, <laughs> three. Okay, I kind of agree. I like three. It doesn't have to have a shirt on. That's acceptable. So... That is now Fabian, sure. I asked, by the way, the question of the day that popped up is, what is the one thing that makes you makes or breaks a story for you? And I asked my coworker this today, and he said someone has to die in it, or else he just doesn't want to watch it. And I like tried to specify, like, okay, I use Batman as an example of like if he doesn't kill people but just beats them to a pulp, is that acceptable? And he said, no, there has to be death. <laughs> and I was like, ah, okay, like I, I guess. <laughs> um, how do you not have all the achievements for Skyrim yet? I mean, totally understandable. I, unless they added more, did they add more with that new update? No, okay, I got all the Steam ones on both versions. Okay, no, they haven't added more. <laughs> Hate pop culture. I mean, it could be any story. I don't know if that counts as pop culture for you of like older literature. And I, I don't consider that pop. Isn't pop like modern culture? What's the actual definition of pop culture? Um. Okay, so modern pop culture. That's not what I want. I, I want... But mass media at younger people, okay. But yeah, even in like older stories. Okay, so we're using a ward of bones that's gonna do something to the shrine and it's gonna be some item. Um, yeah. Yeah, getting to the, the legendary dragon level's a bit of a pain in the butt because you can 100% the rest of the game super easily like 10 levels before that and then it's just kind of boring and you gotta like just grind it up um, I just took shadow mare and just stood in a corner and beat him to death with the soul steel spell or whatever soul trap um, obviously didn't beat him to death but just kept casting that for like a day straight and that got it done <laughs> um, oh so you hate okay so you don't like references Got it, okay. Oh, so you don't like modern, like, Marvel movies. Um, I don't think we're gonna have many references here to pop culture, so this, this story should be safe. Okay, we need some sort of evil deity. Are we thinking wizard, cult, god, demon, um, just an angry plant that isn't in any of those categories that just is like, fucking get out of the jungle? Um, <laughs> this is just a one shot. We're actually just taking gods from uh, Forgotten Realms Wiki. So currently we just have Pan because that was the we're doing a jungle theme, and that was one of the nature ones that it rolled. Um, because that's the shrine we're working at. But <laughs> so technically, I guess our time god could be named Kronos because I think the time he's one of the options. time domain oh no so so we're safe no chronos but yeah so stop in the water wheel 
got this. Do I want this Ward of Bones to help or hurt the shrine? Or help the shrine or hurt the plants, essentially. Maybe it just does extra damage against it, so it's like a special weapon for this one shot that wouldn't be useful anywhere else. Or we have to, like, get it to the shrine to help restore it. That, I don't like that. I like just fighting off the plants and, like, clearing it out. I'm trying to, like, essentially, my idea here is, like, they're clearing out an infestation. So, I'm just going to make a note of, um, infestation. So I think it'll be one of those where it's like some rooms you have to fight the infestation, like actual combat. Um, and then other ones, it's more of like a puzzle of like cutting off the infestation somehow. And that'll give a good mix of options. And you can save the shrine if you get to like a certain percentage so that you won't know that as much as the DM will of like, as long as you save this much, it's a success. If you fail, then the rest of the shrine still collapses. It doesn't have enough to hold on. So... Um, the other thing to be careful with the Daedric artifacts in Skyrim is, I think, maybe they fixed this. It used to be if you chose the wrong artifact in the quest with Barbarus, the dog, if you took the, I want to say, axe instead of the helmet, it didn't count as a Daedric artifact. And so it wouldn't count toward the 15 because there was like no leeway. But I think they fixed that that both of them count. But I would double check beforehand if you're worried about getting it and then either save scam it or just play through to make sure you get that achievement because it's a painful one to miss and not be able to go back and fix uh, i think there was another one you could mix miss too which was the not ring of namira the other the werewolf quest if you like helped the werewolf and kept that ring versus getting the pelt i think that's also missable um but yeah, if you're playing a good character, the the danger for them, is it all of them? At least the most part are not going to be the ones you side with. Okay. So we have this clear infestation. We're going to get there. How many rooms do we think we're going to have? Let's just roll one through 15. Where's my random number generator? Must have closed it. Okay. six that's doable how are we going to draw that in a square so the shrine in the middle or like the fountain the wheels down to the bottom and then one two three four five six so the middle area is open or maybe we do fountain here we're gonna we're gonna ms paint this um so entire shrine we have then rooms so like here i'm gonna make them slightly different sizes these two are supposed to be even but the middle's not this could be one big room so rooms like this with then like a door here and here and there and there i'm not the best designer so so don't uh Give me too much shit for that. Then one to the back room, and then this is like the main entrance. So, our water, like, fountain is here. Our water. Oh shit, drew the, the square there. Okay, like, wouldn't really make sense for the wheel to be there, would it? Wheel's like on the side here, where the river is. So, make a river. God, it's been so long since I've actually used MS Paint, but there's a river. This isn't supposed to be this color. Let me fix that real fast. Okay. And then this is then feeding water, like, across the top into this fountain. But I think what we're going to do to make it more interesting is it feeds it, like, all the way around 
So there's like a little stream that trickles through this entire area. So it should go right in here and just do it from one side. Or do we be fancy with it? And then like there to the fountain. So the water wheel is essentially making a little aqueduct that goes through this building in some weird shape for whatever fucking reason into here. Nailed it. Perfect map. <laughs> okay. Um. Ah, missed the mo <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's, I remember the first time I played through it, I didn't worry about achievements. And then like the next time I looked at all the missable ones and made sure I didn't miss them. And then I think when I replayed it on Legendary, I just made sure I got the achievements the first time. I tended to not roleplay as much as I set a challenge. And I almost, I was trying to get to like level 100 and 100% the actual map completion without fast traveling. And I got a decent amount of the way, but then kind of got bored. But it was like mid-quarantine was the last time I played it. So, we have then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ish rooms. Eight obstacles if we count that. We're going to say you need six of those. So, at least the rooms. Um, so, six out of eight. We could just do five. So, just a little more than half. Nah, we'll make it a little harder to be cleared for the quest to succeed. We'll see if it's a punishment if they fail or if it's just not, you know, worth it. Um, so we have our quest giver, we have our location and essentially what we need to do. I think the ward of bones is going to be I almost just want to make it like a a blessed weapon that does something extra to the plants and not make it that exciting no okay i got it so it's gonna be made of like animal bones so do, 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 do. how many times do we think per day they're gonna get attacked probably won't have too much heavy combat in this one so let's just go Twice a day, you can bring a creature back from control of the plants. And probably just an average DC that you have to roll. So what is, where's my DC chart? Uh, skill check start. Oh yeah, the legendary dragon spawn is just terrible. I don't want this, I want skill check 5e chart. There is one of these, this one is what I wanted. The slightly modified version. So here, we're gonna make this just a tricky one because the staff's gonna make it easier. I think it's gonna be possible to do it without, okay. Are they gonna make a wisdom save? Does the plant have to make a wisdom save? I guess that would make sense. Um, does wisdom make sense here? You're trying to take control back of a mind controlled creature. Yeah, we'll just do wisdom for now. So for plan to release. So this is also going to be possible without staff, but DC is like 18. And gets plus two on each fail. So essentially if your friend is captured, you have a good chance of getting them back if you use the staff. Otherwise it's very difficult. Um, on how to sway them. I 
I could just say they get cut off from the vine, but I don't want that to be like a pure and only way to get it. So like cutting vine makes DC 15. So like they still have a worm in their brain, but it's a weaker worm. And only plus one up each. Okay. So you can release people back from the plants a little easier with this item that this guy will give you. Otherwise, they're taking over this place. They're blocking the water, absorbing it. So there's gonna be no water flowing through. Technically, I guess, like with that little map, it would be if you didn't get all of this empty, it wouldn't get here. But I'm saying if it's gonna have six out of eight, it has enough to still flow through. I also don't think this is going to be actual shown like this water isn't going to really matter it'll find a different path if needed so like there's other grooves that it could follow as long as it makes it to the fountain so it doesn't really it'll just be flavor i guess is the best way to describe it okay oh yeah our man damn he's just just giving us a look it's not one on one creations so let us then grab, let's make the Ward of Bones. So let's do, I like this general, actually here, we're going to create it. We're gonna to try to do it in more of a cartoon style. So staff with deer skull on the top. Tassels, that's not how you spell tassels. There we go. Wood carvings. Let's see what that comes up with. And that will be our reward. I don't know if there'll be a punishment if they fail or they just don't get like a cool thing at the end. But I'm kind of thinking, like, if you fail in the amount of time, the creature is then, like, the final boss. So you can either stop the final fight or fight through it. Um, so probably plant boss if fail. Let's get some... So this is the basics. We'll write more of, like, what he says about this later. But this is the very basics of what you're doing, how you got there. Let's pick a some enemies out. So 5e enemy list. We're gonna look mostly for animals. This is not the one I want. So let's look at some good animals and bugs. I'm thinking a deer is a good start because we have the deer staff. That's the wrong document. Let's pop this here. Pop that one up. So. We've got a deer and it will be just as medium beast, huh? It doesn't give a stat block. Oh, stupid. We're going to modify these stat blocks to, to fit. It didn't like that. I need it to highlight this better. Nope. Really does not want you to... Okay, we're gonna get lazy with this. Like I said, I'm gonna mostly be putting this in later as like an actual thing, but this is the basic stat block for it. We'll probably make it stronger than that to then mix and match with the people um, as far as like enemies go. We want it to be, some are stronger, some are weaker, but in higher numbers. That'll take a bit of balancing based on what level we decide this is written for. The hardest thing is going to be balancing the time. So it's a very small area that they're working in. So we need to make things intricate enough that they have to think through them or fight through them for a little longer, because otherwise they'll just blaze right through it. Um, if there's not many NPC interactions either, we should probably have some possible NPC interactions outside of our first guy. We should have some people either near the shrine that are surveying it 
or some people that are controlled by it that you have the option to save or like save your abilities for your friends, right? So I think deer will be kind of our standard like tank. I don't really feel like having like a, I think a baboon is more of what I want versus a, a bear. Cause this is a jungle theme. I guess deer might not even be right either, but we picked the skull, so it's sticking. Okay. And as we make these here, what we're gonna do is pop back into the art. Not exactly what I wanted, but this doesn't matter a ton. I do like this. I honestly think I'm gonna use this as the deer picture. Hmm. Maybe we'd retry this one. Use that as our deer. And see if we can get more of a staff. We'll try for walking stick, see if it's any better. Or cane. Now, we're going to stick with walking stick. I think it'll do cane better. Fuck. Okay, let's try that. See if we can get our better. While we're at it, let's grab a baboon. I liked how this turned out, so we might stick with the, the more cartoony style. So, baboon covered in vines. I want the deer to be covered in vines too, but I like the, how that last one turned out. So originally I was gonna do like, okay, I'll show you what I was gonna do. A zombie baboon covered in vines and see what it comes up with. Um, damn, it didn't like this either. This is essentially what I wanted. I don't want it to be too grotesque that it's like straight gore is the problem. That's why I went with the cartoony style. Same with the bones. I think this one's going to be our item. Mm, it could just be this, just a deer skull with some tassels on it. Good enough. Do I still want that cute deer? Yeah, it's acceptable. So we have two enemies. Baboos. Baboos. Um, our challenge rating zero, huh? Is that also what deer were? Yeah. So, but that's two types of enemies, so we'll keep those both in mind. And let's see. Let's go up to some more higher challenge ratings. I don't want it to necessarily be like a playable character yet. Panther. I like the panther. Oh shit, it's just a little too big. But I think it gets enough. Yeah, okay. So let's grab that one. We'll rewrite these stat blocks into our, our format later. Okay. My one coworker that I talk D&D with is really into the combat. That's like his biggest part of D&D. &D. He does not want to role play. And I'm like the exact opposite of I would rather role play the whole thing. Which is why I think there needs to be some interact with like a character you can role play around that isn't just you, like your party. But that could be like visions, like hallucinations instead of real people. I don't hate that. Um, ooh, a swarm of rats? Mm. Okay. We already got one. I don't wanna have too many types of enemies here. That's just a little too much. So let's do, those are weak ones. We'll get one that's a level two. Let's find something here. Just a bard, just a straight bard. Allosaurus, oh, do we want dinosaurs in this? If we're going with like a cholt theme, dinosaurs would work. Is that, is that what we want? Gargoyle also would be kind of cool. 
like almost unrelated. A giant elk wouldn't be bad if we're going for deer. So you see some smaller ones and bigger ones. Could throw a mimic in there. Hmm. Um, while we're thinking about this, let's get a panther. I'm gonna try not to do a cartoony one. But we're gonna stick with one of these like more pre-made ones. So zombie panther covered in vines. Throw that in. What's a Quetzal Quattle? Quetzal Interesting. Sure. Let's see what these turned out to be. I wish this showed its face because I it looks good otherwise. This one looks <laughs> really derpy. I do I don't hate this one. It doesn't get quite what I was looking for, but it's good enough. Did I download the baboon? If we miss one, we'll just go back and download it later. It doesn't matter. Two saber tooth cat. It's a little not jungly, it's a little cold. Um The dinosaur is kinda looking good. Unless we just go bigger. We might not even use all these. It might just be this changes based on what level your people are. Is it lame to just do another elk? I think so. Oh, giant constrictor snake. Fuck yeah, that'll work. Okay. And I should probably put, I mean, these are just small so I don't lose them. Snake, 2 CR. Panther, 1 CR. I think I like Baboon better than the deer, even though we already had that deer image. But we're just going to have that as our 0 CR. Okay. And we'll mix and match these a little bit. I think one more animal. So, I kind of want to try something like a painting, just because why not? Zombie, giant snake, eating an ostrich egg, because that might give it the size that I want. jungle okay a little shorter but we'll see what it comes up with and I think that's probably good for animals this is good enough hmm my other thought is like an NPC that's controlled like a human. Oh, fuck. Elephant would be awesome. I lied. This is the last one. So this is our, like, worst one. So CR4. Oh, that would be so good. Have that fight right in the courtyard where the elephant can just, like, trample people but might be a little too at close quarters for it, but yeah. So we're gonna actually use this base again and do zombie elephants covered in vines. Do jungle. I'm afraid to put waterfall, even though I think it'd be nice to have one in the background because it might focus on that okay what the hell is this oh my daily free credits because it is that time of day um not the best images for what i'm going for but this is good enough because it looks bloody and isn't like too grotesque so 
We could work on our other daily, oh god, retrofuturism? I don't even know what that word means. Yeah, so I definitely didn't win anything today. My treehouse was not very good. Apparently. I liked it, but I always like mine. So, okay. We have our enemy list of what we can use outside of people. I'm going to keep that more toward the bottom. So, we need to have room. We're going to label our rooms on our map here. It's going to be one. I kind of want that bigger. Bold 20. One. And black. One. No. Black. One. Okay. It says absolutely not. We can't do that. Okay, MS Paint. Better? Sure. Three. Oops, that's two. Okay, four. Five. Six. Seven's the courtyard. Eight's the water wheel. And this is just entrance steps. So we need one through eight written down for when we draw a better map that we label. Six, seven, eight. Okay, so this front room, we can probably leave this for now. Let's see. That creations. What do we want the front room to be? If you walked into a shrine, what would the first thing on the side be? I need to just look at the map. So, I guess it's, yeah, on the right. So you walk in, first thing on the side. I guess we write the water wheel first. So, water wheel, covered in vines that grow back when never cut, burned. Um, so the water wheel is kind of like the end goal. So you're trying to weaken all the vines through here to then get the wheel spinning again. Until the six out of eight is completed. Um, let's go combine strength check. What's some good group strength checks? DC checks. Uh, do I want stack exchange? So, okay. Yeah, it's not really what I want. I said like half of them need to succeed. I guess that'd be fair. So, I'm going to say like the average party is four people. We want the DC to be like... Probably only like 12 once it's started. Um... And you only need half of them to succeed, so you just need a group strength check of tw let's let's do twenty six. Um, twenty six, or I could just cut back, but then they could just beat it. I was gonna go like it starts at fifty in each room they clear minus is ten. That could still be doable, and you get really lucky. I don't know if this would count for now that you can pass skill checks. 100% by just getting a natural 20. I'm not used to that rule, so I wouldn't write around it as much as just... Okay. So it's combined skill check of 60. Combined strength check. So... For party of four. So my idea is two people pushing, two people like pulling on it, right? Um, Now we want it higher than that. I want like 80, because I still want it to be difficult. Goes down by 10 for each room cleared. Before collapse. And then if party can move at end, they succeed. So that's our water wheel, the main goal of this. Seven, was that the fountain room? I think it was. Wrong one? Yeah, so then I just kind of work backwards. Fountain room. 
So we're gonna say large. Large fountain, dedicated to pan. It's not, not working. What do I want in the middle though? If it's not a room you can functionally clear, what is it doing as far as helping the water wheel or like progressing the story? I don't want it to just be a dead room. Hmm. It could just be an initial combat location. Like you walk in here, that's the first place you really go and you have to go through it to get to the back. So like you could clear. Yeah, but you don't. Oh, I forgot a door. There needs to be one more door here. It's gonna be off center because fuck you. That's why. It's gonna be right here. So, what would the fountain room have? Let's see. Let's let's pick another random magic card and see if it gives us inspiration. Okay. That could be like the core of the plant. I like that. So core of plant located here. Growing from pond. So it's going to be more like a whole water section in the middle. So like a big Roman bath is what I'm thinking. Um, within the fountain in the middle. So like, let's see if we can get it to do this. So. Roman style bath. What? What? Actually, make just a normal bath covered in vines with large plants growing out the water. Fountain on side. I don't know. We'll see what it comes up with. It might be useless. Um. But. That's what I think I want in there. Can you do anything to the plant that actually helps it or like hurts it? I think there's gonna be something located here that you can get from another room to like interact with. So it's like a two for one. Um, I think the rooms are gonna collapse in a random order. So roll D6 every period of time. And room collapses, matching that number. So theoretically, that could cut it in half. If they clear six, one collapses. Clear five, two collapses. Clear four, three collapses. So we might have to rework this later. I mean, it's really... There's a small chance this shows nudity. If it does, we're just going to not look in detail at it. Um, but we'll, we'll see what it comes up with. It won't be any actual bad nudity. It'll be like art nudity. <laughs> that makes sense. So these ones collapsing, fine. Um, what do we want the core of the plant? We'll have to come back for mechanic here. Okay, so six is that back room. It's going to be the hardest. I think there's going to be the most treasure there. We're going to use another one of our random things to generate a trinket. I think this is just broken. Damn. Or everyone's logging in right now to uh, do the challenge. Could also be it. Let's say in this back room, what the fuck's a spider toe? Um, do a large eyeball. I don't want the mysterious part. A clockwork figure not really the vibe I'm going for. Um, let's just do, okay. We're gonna do statues that are changing color. So lined with seven statues. Each one is a different color. It's gonna be a puzzle room. We'll come back to making the puzzle here. 
I'm very bad at making puzzles, so that's going to be a struggle. I think we're going to do half and half combat puzzles. We're going to have an easy combat, medium combat, hard combat, um, and then easy puzzle, hard puzzle, medium puzzle. Just to kind of balance it out. So we're going to do one, three, six, our puzzle rooms. Oh, that's not exactly what I want to toss. So let's do two, two, five. Eh, I don't care. Make it a little random. We already said it. I was going to go in like a pattern. Um, so one of these is probably going to be a riddle. So let's just make this one the riddle. Other one's going to be more of like a mechanic puzzle that you just kind of have to work your way through, which is probably going to be this one. This one is going to have a vision guide so if something's going to interact with the vision of like you're hallucinating and these people are then logic puzzle so like binary code style i think that's more of what this one is going to be so this one i guess would be considered logic is that what you mean or do you mean like a you take one match out of this to make the word 10 kind of logic not like if and gates because i don't actually hate the idea of making it more of like a if then puzzle but it's just not described to you you just got to figure it out for one of these so that's probably this one either way so this one's gonna be hard combat kind of hidden isn't it medium combat easy combat okay okay see that's what I was thinking more of like a riddle Sally lives next to Bob Bob lives next to the blue house who lives in the red house um I was thinking that's more of a riddle I guess that you could do more logic than like a sphinx riddle with that. It's kind of hold the same spot in my head. But I don't hate that idea of like the vision is the one giving you the riddle instead. So kind of like a sphinx concept. So we'll just leave this as logic for the moment. Okay. So this is kind of a simple dungeon of you're just trying to clear out. This is why I need to read more one shots to see what they actually like do. It's not a very linear dungeon. So it's like you can go into anywhere at once. I personally like those more than like a, you have to find a ton of hidden spots. Oh, here we go. Um, This is more of what I wanted. It doesn't really have the pond aspect, which this one does. Hmm. That one kind of gives more of the vibe because it also looks like water is here and like this is the fountain. I think that's more of what I wanted. Okay, Squire, do you want to be in charge of coming up with a the logic puzzle then? It can be your uh your dedicated room. So I think the hard combat is going to be elephant, which let me see a um, counterbalancer. So I want one CR4. We're going to have four characters and we're going to put them as level five and see how easy this is. Easy? Okay. Hmm. Which room's the big first one, too? That's where I have this combat, right? Yeah, hard combat right when you walk in. Oh, do I want that? Like a guaranteed hard combat? I probably don't. I feel like fifth level, level is a good one to aim for for this, so that they're not super strong. We do need to make some things that like abilities can help you through to make it a reason why this character would like be useful in this situation and not just anyone. 
So, how about two CR4 monsters? Hard? That is a hard combat now. Okay, I like that. So... Two elephant... With vines... Controlling them. Um, attack on entry. Players check for traps. They'll just notice a lot of vines for the moment. Of vines on the, s on the elephants. Perception. They probably look kind of like statues. But I don't think it'd be too hard. But I want to make some of these more hard, because the first ones I did were easier. So let's just aim for 15. Um, to tell that the elephants have moved. F footprints, something like that. So that you know they're alive when you first go in. So that gives you a second to like prepare if you check for them. Otherwise, it's a surprise round. I think most people walking into this would assume there's something wrong at the first spot and would check. So they would probably trigger one of these two and give them a chance. Um, I think before you even get in. So for entering. For front door. Uh, vines have overgrown it. And you have to cut, burn or remove them. Dispel magic will also work on... Ah, I don't want dispel magic to really work on the vines. I don't think they're magic. They're technically a creature. So that won't work. Um, they'll probably have about 20 HP, so it doesn't take too much to actually break them. But like a little bit of effort just to start you off of like, how do you get in here? And I think that's that's pretty simple. We should probably put some windows on here with a similar vibe. But we'll work on that later. Okay. Squire's working on the logic room. That's on them now. We have our first just basic encounter of two surprise elephants. Very simple. Um, riddle room with a vision guide. So we need something that's a good riddle. I'm terrible at riddles. riddles about plants <laughs> let's see what it comes up with that so what i've learned from writing DD and playing DD is that riddles for kids are the way to go the problem is i don't think how trees get on the internet is really what i'm looking for oh i i don't hate this one let's see what the answer is personally terrible at riddles so Okay, sunflower. Oh, that's just a plant. Mm, that seems too too vague. I want it more specific. The sunflower doesn't really fit. Let's try to see if we can find one about like a jungle like plant. Okay. Part of the tree, all the tree. Wow. I don't want it to be cheesy. I want it to be like reasonable of like, this is what a guardian would put on this place. Um, and it's kind of, kind of, it can't be like modern. <laughs> could, could do elephants. I want like a longer riddle, but. This seems so obvious. I just know that players in the moment do have issues with riddles. But I kind of like this of a basic one. And like maybe you have three riddles. Um, so... 
see what else there is here. The fungi one, classic. Okay. Plant every second I grow. I like this one. It's a time riddle. It can be our Kronos riddle for uh, Glorious, since they said not to have a someone named Kronos in here. Yeah, control, Z, control Z, B. But that one's a little more like involved. And it's unlikely that the players are going to get that immediately. Okay, sorry for the formatting. Just kind of ignore that for now. I might leave this up to DM discretion of like, again, okay. The idea is for this to last, let's say three hours about. It'll be about 15 to 20 minutes for the initial talk with the guy, depending on your players. Combat can take anywhere from, combat's the hard one to judge. So you don't want these rooms, not all of them to take super long but I don't want them to feel like it's only combat and these riddles are like too quick or like they can't solve it. They have to fight their way through. So I think most of these rooms might have a second workaround as well, but we're going to, we're going to start with this. Let's see if we can get one more plant riddle in here as an option. Um, yeah, this is just generic. The thing is, after like the first one, they're going to know they're all plant themed. Why did it switch to asteroids in darkness? The hell? I think this one's a very standard one. The river. So it did switch away for a little bit, whatever. I like this little poem. It seems kind of easy because it's so specific. There's a lot of leaf ones. Jesus. Um, a lot of sunflower ones. Okay. Oh, I like lavender more. Don't want a movie one. No, don't want Christmas specific. Um, time is the hard one. The first one's just super simple and easy, which might make it the hardest because it just doesn't give them away enough. This one just sounds like a poem. So we're gonna steal that one. Okay, so this one's just flower. So there's got to be some bonus for like getting all these versus just one. But we will decide that later. That's the basics for this, the riddle room. So it's three riddles. Um, medium combat. Well, let's go back to our encounter balancer. We have the options. We used our elephant. We could do a snake and a panther. That's going to be too easy, though, for level five, right? Also, let me pop up here. So, number rows. We're going to add a row here because it's going to be two level one one level two easy medium if i do three here will it be too hard damn it two and two so two panthers two snakes i don't like the two and two i want like a three and one that's better so three panthers oh wait yeah, three panthers, one snake. 
so. So, Panthers are hidden. Snake on the ceiling. Hidden in vines. There's gotta be like a reason that they go into this room and it's not like just walking through. I guess I could rearrange them here. Wait a minute. The problem with the rooms collapsing, I guess, to how we have this drawn currently is like if one collapses, you can't get into four. So I guess we should make this all rooms kind of open in all directions so you can always get around to them. They'll just be like archways, really. So you can't even hide through them. And if you like sprint through one, you could trigger another combat. Oh, we don't have we don't have traps yet. I think the traps might be laid in here a little bit um, of like mixed into the combat. So you set off a trap and that also triggers combat. So where's four and five? So four, five, wait a minute. I thought five was our big puzzle. I put that on six, didn't I? So this should be, okay. So we'll have combat two, three, and four instead. So, let's switch this riddle room here to five. Easy combat. Okay. Wait, no, we want five to be our puzzle, right? Shit. Five, I want it to be this room. God, what a mess. Okay, six, five, found room. Two, three, four, combat. One is our logic, Squire's logic puzzle, which haven't got a response to, so we'll see if we get it. Otherwise, we'll have to write it ourselves. But that should be fine. And then let's go the very edge of easy combat for that last one here. So remove a row. Actually, we're gonna add a row here again. Number monsters four, CR zero. How many baboons does it take to be not trivial? <laughs> it's still trivial, Jesus Christ. Is it ever not trivial? Wait a minute. Okay, so it's always trivial. Shit. But it says monster's not a number. Those were CR zero, right? That's what I had them labeled as. They have three hit points. So yeah, there's not like a big threat with them, but you can still get overwhelmed pretty easily. I don't want it to be too annoying of a combat to run. So let's throw in another snake. <laughs> um. medium already yeah because I like the snakes in the ceiling idea or like around but five baboons I think is already gonna be annoying it is a party of four do eight easy there we go perfect sorry DMS it's a bit much for an encounter but uh they're very easy to kill which is just gonna be like one aoe spell hits them all is the idea so the thing is they're gonna be on like the ceiling because they're gonna have a climb so might make it a little more three-dimensional we'll see i like the snakes the panthers and stuff so they're all gonna be a little more climby than the characters probably have access to um and those will be these rooms here okay um if two collapses can you still get out good thoughts i guess you can always just climb the vines out or if it collapses, you just walk through the rubble. I'm stupid. These don't need doors. Okay. Yeah, okay. I almost think we should just have like no 
door is into the middle and you have to go around the outside, but I think it's better to have the cross through versus like just making a loop. Okay. So we have that. We got our creatures. I need statues for this puzzle. Also, I need like some ethereal vision. So let's roll another NPC and make a vision of some person right here. Shit, a Triton? Okay. I don't, I don't know if they'll actually uh, be able to generate that. Okay. So let's take this one. Let's actually create this first. Take this. Create this. Here we go. Blue hair. Gray eyes. Long straight. Man with. Very long, straight, blue hair, gray eyes, rugged aqua skin. D and D. Um, I think I'm gonna not make it a trait, and I think that's gonna confuse this too much. And we can just either call it that, or just say it's a blue dude. Blue could just be the vision. What if I just call him like ghostly? See if it makes it a little less crisp. Okay, and we got rid of enough stuff. So there we go. So this is our vision that's gonna be forming. I probably need to generate these rooms too. What the fuck is going on? I copy pasted something wrong. Oh, cause one of these is supposed to just be the other room. So five is not the vision guide room. This is the statue puzzle. Okay, so let's see what our Claire, oh, did I make a guy or a woman? Well, whatever. I think this is more of what the prompt was. These arms creep me out, same with the face. So I guess this is our vision guide now, whatever. Needs a new, eh. Good enough. And we'll just make it a, a mononym. Okay, so. That shrine is protecting. So my thought is the statue of Pan in the middle is broken and you're putting pieces of it together thinking that that's what you're actually trying to do. So you need all the pieces, right? So they're saying restore the shrine, put Pan back together. You make the shrine, but it's actually just clearing away the vines and then the, the magic can do the rest. But you're getting pieces, the six pieces of Pan back from each of these locations to put on this statue. So, head of Pan. Right? So it'll be head, torso, both legs, both arms. So this will be the elephant room will have leg one. Leg one for statue. We might have make those a little harder to find, like you have to search the room afterwards and be specific, but we'll start with there. Easy combat will have leg two. Medium is gonna have torso, and then the other one's gonna have arms. Arm one. Arm two. Okay told to repair statue of pan 
even if we get all pieces, this fails. We need to actually get the water running. So it's a bit of a misdirect. So kind of a final overall puzzle for like the plot. Um, we have one NPC-ish thing to work with. So I think Dylas, um, we're just gonna call her Dyla. Um, lives there and will be like kind of helpful, but doesn't really leave her room for whatever reason. Um, but it's someone that you can at least interact with. So we'll write a little bit of Dyla dialogue or options for that. So yeah, got riddles. Um, she's gonna see if you're worthy of of Pan's blessing, essentially. The fountain room, we have to write the puzzle, or this is actually just where, uh, so yeah, so statue pieces go here. So next two have to cut into plant to place. So the plant's growing out of the fountain. You have to cut the plant open to put the statue pieces in as you go to slowly restore the statue. Misdirecting for this water wheel that you actually have to get running. Um, there'll be hints though, like once you're done with the statue that the DM can make that's like, this is how you're directed toward it, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll get that in there, more of the full plot of how this should progress. So we need pretty much a little more description on these, maybe. The logic room, we'll see if Squire gets back to us. We're only halfway through, so we got time for that. And the riddle room with statues. So enemies done, center area. I kind of want this. Um, with tree. Let's see if we can evolve that into something that's a little more center PC. That makes sense. It doesn't make sense. Damn, I do like these though. Like this is kind of what the outside looks like. We're getting we're getting some shots here. Oh, the little fountain going down. The tree over the top. Damn. Okay, I like these. Those are good options, but I need it more tree in the center. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are you supposed to get back on? You're supposed to be the one writing the logic puzzle. Come on. Okay, room a style bath with... Large tree growing out of the water, fountain on side, vines on walls. Yes, yeah, yeah. Steal stuff off the internet that then we're gonna reskin for this. Obviously. <laughs> um, if you can think of some, oh shit, just kept the same crap. Not quite what I was hoping for. Um, so let's try to do just this prompt again from the beginning because I'm fine with all these for like images of how the shrine looks right so we want tree fountain in the middle of Roman bath Roman style bath covered in vines We'll get it, we'll get it. Okay. So. No. No, apparently this is just a tree fountain. Shit. This is what I want, but then a tree growing over it. Frick. Um. Maybe we just don't specify fountain. large tree growing out of water 
Hit middle of room style bath covered in vines. Let's see. Come on. So, water wheel check. The basics of the fountain, like maybe this is the end result, what it's supposed to look like. We got some general designs. This is more of what I want in the middle. Ooh, I kind of like the person stuck to it. I don't really need a second tree. But that would be cool if like they're like partially alive. They don't necessarily attack you, but aren't like you have the option to save them. I like that idea and this image. Shit, do I try to cut out this tree? Or do I just say there's fucking two? I want this more in like the bathhouse look. But I think I, I think I like that. I think we're just gonna keep that one. So that's also gonna add to room seven here. We're gonna make, what does it say, adventurer stuck in vines of fountain. Controlled by plants, but not actively hostile. Lumbers about reaching for people. So we have the option of if saved, if killed, there's no consequence. But it's whatever. If saved before fountain, um, or before wheel, I guess, is the better descriptor. Before wheel, this happens, I think after the wheel, they just collapse. You won't have Revivify at this point, I don't think. Is that seventh level you get that spell? Got no fucking clue. Responsive. I, I think they're just dead. They collapse dead as finds recede can be revived, but not just healed awake. Okay, so if they do this before the wheel, this is going to be a... We already did the DC for escaping it, but I think this is going to be a harder one. It's already hard. So yeah. The vines are going to be reaching for the players a lot. Both to trip and to control. So... DC... 18. What do we need them to do? I guess we didn't even describe what the fucking check was up here. It was just wisdom against the plant. By person. So let's generate who this person is. Okay. The picture's a female, so let's just... Oh, I guess I can just... Mm, they're, they're not a tiefling. That's the problem with the picture. Sure, whatever. That is something for a human, but good enough. So, female. Oh, what's close? With short brown mohawk, blue eyes. Rough red skin. Pop our more portrait. I don't want a portrait of her. I kind of want her in the tree. Even though that this image isn't going to look like her, the other one, it'll be okay. Let's see. Core. Pop that one back in. Skin. We're going to say covered in vines. It needs to be one word too many, right? No? Okay. Okay. So, theoretically, this is where that person is. Their name is Gloriana. Okay. 
Okay. Controlled by the plant. She just lunges at you. Cool. Okay. We uh, need to not focus on anything we shouldn't have there. I feel like this is the top that I want, but of course that had to have nudity in it. So I think we're just gonna go with this one. I don't like the vines as much because the brown, it doesn't look like they're as alive as these ones, but it just shows less of her so that you can just imagine that she has like that dress on and everything. So we'll stick with that. Okay. What happens if she's awake? If you save her? I feel like she just wants to leave. But it's like too weak to go very far because she's been like sat by this plant. Um, DC. Wisdom saved by her. No, it's just gonna be the same. players um, she thanks party and then just waits outside for them escort her she could wait in one of the rooms and it could collapse on her but then you would just tell her to you know not be in the room um, so I think this is gonna be she just pretty much doesn't have any gear. Like, she was here as a worshiper, so it wasn't like she came to adventure. You could probably arm her, and she's a little useful. Like, level two fighter level. Let me see here if we can. Let's see if we can get a fighter. Can't make it like a level. Can I? Fighter, fighter, fighter. I don't see it. Um, some pretty beefy stats for her though. I'm not opposed to it. So we might have to look up a fighter stat block here, but. Good enough. That's honestly a little powerful. She might be a little weaker because she's been stuck here the whole time. So, like, let's make her constitution negative one because she's drained. And we'll base her health off of that. She's fine on the rest, just kind of average NPC. Um, so, yeah. This will also provide a, if you want to continue the story from here, like jumping off point of you escort her back and it leads into another plot hook. So that gives us something to like bring back the story back to civilization after this is done. Which I always like writing into these in case people want to use them as either a session zero, session one, or just a, you know, one off and then bring them back in. But so, yeah. Uh, write a missing poster about this. Okay. So normally, I mean, this is where I would essentially, I would have ended writing this forever ago if this was my personal me running this. I would have just got these stat blocks and been done. But I think we have a good base here other than that last two riddles of we have a plot a little bit of a plot there's not a ton it's a one shot it doesn't need a huge plot um again different ways to write these I, I don't flame me for how i write versus like you're probably way better at this um but anyway the biggest thing is just making people have fun so this one's kind of a mixed bag of like all sorts of things you can do inside it but we have to write more of that stuff in to make it more detailed we have the framework here that if you improv, it's fine. My issue is I always put too much detail in in one shots and it takes four hours to run them 
through half. And I'm like, fuck, I have to like end this quickly. So anyway, um, we're going to try to put details in here for other DMs to use, but they aren't going to be like details that you have to do to progress the story. We want the basics to get through it easy enough that the DM could push it if needed to get done in time, but enough details that if their characters are interested and they want to play it longer, then they can work with it. So I think we're doing okay with that at the moment. So my thought for this riddle, I hadn't really... Oh, wait. You don't have one? Whatever. Um, we're just going to save this to the desktop as... Map zero. Save. Yep. Okay, so my idea for these... I've been like half thinking of it. Is there seven statues of pan they aren't the same as the statue you're looking for so you can't like replace parts if they try to break them it might just fucking not work they're all supposed to be the same size ignore the, the terrible drawings so i wanted to make it i was kind of thinking logic gates so like um this one's an and this one's an or this one's an or, this one's an and. And or? Shoot, what is XOR? I don't remember. What is a uh... exclusive or? So, it's logic simple. If the bits are the same, the result is zero. If the bits are different, the results are one. I like that as one of these. So, that's not what I want. Is there, there's not an X hand, is there? No, that wouldn't make sense. So, ands then. And our goal is to get this middle statue to be something, is my thought. So, I think we only want one tricky one, right? So we need something to fit this pattern here to make an output. I could just do it with colors. So like, um, we could just do green and yellow for the moment. So these two have to be the same. Oh, we, we just need one that's, okay, one that's true, one that's false. I meant to do colors, right? And then this changes equals shit equals yes this looks professional equals some other big statue right Ooh, this could be water dripping into it. okay whatever we'll we'll flavor it later so this is one. Perfect. And this is two. They won't be these colors because I don't want it to be a Christmas theme thing for the final, but this is what we're going to visualize with here. So all of these. God, I could make this so complicated if I wanted to. So this and this have to be true. Right? So those... Oh, I, I meant to be zero on that, not two. Which, actually, this will make more sense if this is one, just visually. And... Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Card and... Card, oh, fuck, we fucked it up. Um, <laughs> whatever. And this is zero, because then it's, you know, positive, negative at the same time. So anyway, we have these both have to be green, which means this one has to be red, which just means that one has to be green. Or I guess that one could be. Yeah, it has to be because or. Which means that one has to be green, 
which means that one can be red or green, which means... So that could be either? But how easy is that going to be? Because then you only need... You need all green and one red. Let me make little boxes down here that are... Not that. Our other options to see how easy this is to just like futz your way through because there's gonna be no hints to this so it can't be so difficult that it's impossible but it should be challenging enough so if you do this one red you fail so this one has to be green um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a this has to be which means this one also has to be green because it's an and statement, of course. Stupid. Which means this one has to be red. Fuck. Which means, I mean, if you're red on these other ones, that's wrong. God, we could add a third color in here and make this way more complex. I don't want it to be super hard. I'm not trying to, like, break some insane brainage out of people. Um, so that means this one has to be... Fuck. This is gonna be the same thing. And... So you just have to get it in this exact pattern other than this one. How easy is that gonna be to get, though? Because if you just tried this brute force and started off with all green, it would fail. But then if you did red... All green would succeed. Red, or if it would fail. Red, all green would fail. But then red, all green would succeed. So if you just did this like brute force starting from the very beginning, it would only take four attempts. Terrible password. Um, which I don't really like. Hmm. I could do one more XOR on here. What would that change? Phenomenal. So, this one has to be green. So this one could be red. And this one could be green, or this one could be green, red, and this one could be green. Uh, whichever way, they would have to be the opposite of each other. Right? So these two only matter with one another. The rest is kind of separate, so it's almost like two puzzles. I feel like that's a little harder. Because then you can't do just all green. I think I like that. So it's not so complex that it's going to like really be difficult for people. But it's hard enough. That. Ooh. Hard enough that it would take you a minute to figure out with no hints. To like brute force this. But. Just brute forcing it isn't as fun in game, so there has to be some way to hint at this. We could just start them off with like these two are the same. So these are same. Because then if they try red, they'd have to put green here, red here, green here, and that would fuck it up. So they would know pretty fast that these had... Well, they wouldn't know. There's no, like, your close output. It's just, did that work or not? We could just say these are different. Because how many combinations does that give you to try? So it's one combination for this being red, the rest all whatever. Two for flip-flopping the other direction on these. Okay. One for both choices here. These ones would have to be opposite, which would give you... You would square that, so it'd be four. So you have to try it in this combination. Switch to the other combination. Switch these ones first combination. Switch this second combination. 
and then I feel like I want to say like this is the same as one of these but not the same as this but is that too obvious hmm So it'd be like, uh, these are different. Perfect. This is not the ramblings of some insane person. I think that's enough. Because again, you do four combinations of this, and then you essentially only have three, like there's still a ton of combinations. Ugh. It's still just so luck based without knowing anything about the logic gates. Because essentially this logic gate doesn't matter. This just isn't here anymore. Same with this. If we're doing like these are the same, right? Same with this. Ah, I need someone else's input on this of like, I need to present them with this puzzle and see how long it takes them to solve it. I could just do those are the same these are different one of these is different right so it's kind of like three separate puzzles built on the original logic gates and then you have one two three combos essentially with this so as long as these are all at the same time four you'd have to do this for each of those four right so it'd be 12 combinations this way four times this way four times this way so you could just brute force it doing 12 times right um you could get lucky do it faster but that's not an insane amount of time it would take to brute force it there's no like hint of if you're close or not Hmm. I normally don't write my own puzzles, so this is <laughs> this is new for me. Like logic puzzles like this. It's so hard to balance of what's too hard and what's too simple. How about we take out we word it differently? So this is the same idea, but we say one of these is the opposite. One of these is not the same as this. And we write it in like some special fashion. So let me put my other notepad here. So one through three, one is different than, can't even say the middle two, then four or five. Four and five are the same six and seven cannot be the same so we could make these in themes so one two three are cats we could just do the animals that are in here right baboons cats snakes leave out the elephants the elephant will be the big statue at the end right so elephant final statue why does that make any sense it's just a guy to pin. Those are the animals in the area. Why not? Fuck it. Who cares? So, one through three baboons. Baboon statues. Four through five panther statues. Six and seven snake statues. And I think they're just going to be pointing. So, like an arrow at the bottom. Or like a, a triangle, not a triangle base. Some base that just points one way. So maybe a triangle with one of them labeled. So pointing to center of the, the, so there's, you can spin them and they lock in on these places like there's grooves. 
some bullshit way to explain how this is a one or zero, right? Um, so center of temple. Then these are obviously the hear no, speak no, see no monkeys, because that'll throw them off. They might think that's important. So we have a panther, one sitting, one lunging, sure. Snake coiled, one direction, one the other. So they just look like they mirror each other. And none of that matters. It'll just have to do with what direction they're facing. Again, a little bit of a misdirect. So to say, one of the monkeys, are, are baboons technically monkeys, primates? I don't fucking know. It's not like the cats. The cats are twins. And then the snakes have to watch each other's backs. So not the same ones forward, ones back, right? So this could be littermates, so it's more like specific to cats. It's not like the cats. Okay. I think that works. So one of the monkeys does not like the cats. The cats are littermates. The snakes have to watch each other's backs. And all that is to say that um one, two. Oh shoot. The thing is, it technically fits the puzzle from the riddle side if they just turn any of the monkeys around, right? And the cats are the same way. Is it supposed to be kind of like vague like that? Shoot, 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 shoot. Um... So here we go. Nearby monkeys run from the cats. So that's it turning, this one turning around, right? So this is two, four, green is in. The cats are litter mates. I don't know what that means. It just means they're twins. So let's just say twins. Technically it means they're just from the same litter. Is that, is that technically twins? Like you can have more. Yeah, that's, that's the same thing. Like, they're brothers. They always say that, like, you say those cats are brothers because they came from the same mom, but, like, they're the same litter, so they're technically twins. I guess it doesn't work the same as human twins do. Unimportant. The snakes have to watch each other's backs. So, this irrelevant of rest. The cats have to face forward. If they face backwards, that would also work as long as the other monkey goes, right? So these two just have to face the same. So this is technically one big AND gate, and this is just the opposite XOR to both of these. Um, so, alert monkeys run from the cats. This one is the mouth covered is closest so that it's a double it's the one that has all of its senses going on at the moment so then the cats are literally just means they're facing the same way that's a little vague but whatever um do i want them to have to face this direction or can they all be the opposite i guess i don't truly care but mechanically do i care um, this is gonna, 
shoots water when completed. So solution is one one zero one one so like that I think that's enough if they face them if they do this zero zero one zero zero and then the same allowed once too easier. Okay, I think that's good enough for this. Squire, did you come out with any puzzle for yours yet? I feel like this was more of what you were looking for. <laughs> and I just ended up doing it. But that's fine. Uh, this should be in two, six, this one, five. So yeah, we stole some riddles, but otherwise this is so far just all our work. Let's do some statues here. So we want a, we're just gonna do night cafe on all these. Um, elephants statue shooting water from trunk. I was expecting to blow through way more credits than this, but we kind of didn't make a lot of NPCs, so. This one is a baboon statue covering mouth, because that's the most important one. That boards. That, also, the elephant didn't look like it came out the statue, so I'm a little worried. Statue would help if I could spell. I mean, it's due by the end of the stream. Um, so it's not technically due now, but that's our, our last room that we're really missing. So leopard statue sitting down. I don't know if it'll actually make statues with these. Shit. Um, so we're not getting statues, which isn't ideal. I like the little baby though, it was kind of adorable. <laughs> wow, disappointing. Shoe made of stone. Let's see if this gets us anything worthwhile. are terrifying shoe of stone covering mouth shit none of these really look like rocks this one's close I think that's good enough Our elephant statue in the middle This is not what I wanted out of these, but this is uh, good enough with the scary teeth. This is the pose I was more looking for, but I kind of like him just sitting on the rocks. Rocks. I didn't mean a stone on the other one, but we'll try rocks. Okay. And then, oop, that's not what I want. Let's just try a different one. <laughs> nah, yeah, why not? They didn't turn out as good as I hoped. Um, snake statue made of stone. Coiled up. Is 
This does not look like rocks. Let's try to evolve this one. Why do they, why does it not understand what material I'm trying to make this out of? I kind of like this weird ass snake. It almost looks like a turtle up top, but. Whatever, good enough. At least this one looks like it's a statue. Good enough. <laughs> this one does too and almost looks a little better. But because it's standing on like a distinct rock. Okay. Not the best outcomes for those, but we'll take it. So. We have riddles. Which I'm still not sure I want to steal these, but that's what we're going to stick with for now. We have our basic fountain with a random NPC for further story progress. The water wheel, which is the end goal. Our harder riddle room with my statues. Um, some basic combat ones. And we need to make a logic room. And I think we're going to make it about like trees. You've, okay, we definitely already made a logic room. We need something else. We did riddles, logic. What else could there types of puzzles this is always the hardest part for me puzzles i'm not good at solving them i'm not great at making them okay i would love to make like a rubik's cube one but that'd be a lot of work to describe oh, we could just do a math puzzle it's kind of basic, but we could just do a balancing one where like there's different items in the room that are different weights and you have to put it on, balance it out at the end. I want like examples of these. I don't want to read. That's the problem. Yeah, we kind of half-ass logic puzzled. We could just do a puzzle that like is in character difficult, but not like anything actually descriptive happening. Of like your characters just have to make checks to do it. But I think you're just gonna get hints if you like your character has a high wisdom and you're having issues they you could get a hint from it because like charisma people always role play charisma and like get roles because of it and like a strength check you can describe but it's rare that you get like a a help on a puzzle even if your character is supposed to be a genius which i've always hated but then if your character can just solve everything instantly it's also boring for everyone so it's you gotta balance that um we could do Hitori, which is just a 6x6 six six Sudoku instead. But I think that's a little... Again, you can just brute force it. Like You, you either make it too difficult and they don't know what they did wrong, or you make it too easy. Um... Oh, shoot. Okay, this isn't what I want. Um, Squire, what was that one game you and Mew played? The Mario one? That you had to make, like, those images? So... So let's say it's just a four by four. That might be too easy. Let's go five. We're not gonna worry about perfection here. Okay. The 
the hard part is going to be making this solvable without messing up. Because, like, only having one solution is going to be difficult. So, if we wanted them to, like, make a tree, per se, might need a, a bit wider of a grid here. Um... Pixel art tree. Let me just get some. It's gonna be a little too detailed. Yeah. So like, help at all? We'll keep doing the same. I don't need the color to start off with. I just need to make the shape. Ugh. Could just do a flower instead. I think that's just as difficult with this few. We can make a bigger grid. So let's take this, shrink it, copy paste it. So here's a 10 by 10 we can draw in then. So my idea is, this is on the floor. Let's try to draw a tree here. God damn it, of course it's broken. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay, just, just connect this all the way down so it doesn't bleed out. Nope, stay there. Okay, so tree. Frick. Because I remember these being like relatively easy to think through but infuriating. I don't necessarily want it to be mirrored the whole way. So something like this. Maybe a little wider. God, that's awful looking. Um. I don't know how to fix it without adding more more fill in squares that makes it too easy. Let's see what I can find on these. There's one before I expanded the grid that I kind of liked. Could just do a terraria tree, I guess. This is what I was looking at. But I don't want to add the multiple colors, so it needs to be more of a opening. <laughs> Let's see a flower. Let's see if that's better for us. I think we could do that better. I don't want to make the grid too big because that just gets so complicated. Oh yeah, control Z all the way through this. Okay, well, we fucked up these lines. So there, there. So let's do it with colors to start. They won't see the colors, but I don't really want a symmetric one is the problem. Okay, that filled in all those, but I'm not opposed to that. I mean, it's not beautiful, but this is the idea. 
that I'm going for. And I'm going to have to look up exactly how that game did it. Fucking shit. <sighs> Solve this. Okay. So something like this is what it'll look like at the end. It's super derpy. I might have to make it bigger, but I'm not going to worry about it. I just want the concept down. So... Mario... Puzzle game. Let's see if this gets me what I want. This is not at all what I want. Um. Mario tile puzzle game. Let's see if I figure this out. Squire, if you remember what that game was called, so I can Google like an example of it. That's what I'm gonna try to make. I think I'm just gonna need a bigger one. To make the like the art better, I will just have to generate it. Um, I think it was, was it Mario sixty four or it had to be GameCube? Puzzle game. It was that one you and Mew tried to like a hundred percent that one day. I don't even know what I was doing the whole day. This one. What is this one called? Okay, puzzle games. Flood of the market, da 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 da. No! Where's the fucking name of this? Mario plus one remake in 20 Peach Peaks. Hotel Mario and Ranking Crusade. That's wrong. Pictocross? that helps I don't think that was it but I think that's gonna give me the, enough of the idea pie pie cross okay so it said how many there were just not where they were placed okay so I need a bigger grid <laughs> um let's just restart this So, let's just do a four by four to start. Four. Okay. So we'll get this exactly in the corner so we can overlap without the fucking lines going out of whack. So six, seven, eight, 910. So this is what we had before, just way more organized. Christ. Um control Z next. We're just gonna copy this whole section now. See, that line at the top is going to fuck it up here. Let me fix that. There we go. And then it needs one more line. But I need to shrink it first. Okay. We're just going to build a basic idea. I might have to flesh this out a little better. But if we would make like a fountain, I don't, okay, I don't like this exact fountain, but this is the right, this is the idea. So this would have like a zero here. Zero. And then this would have a 
a one, one, one to show that there's three separate sections of ones. So we're going to have to shrink everything down more here. The problem is actually going to be just making this like only work one way. It'll take me a bit. I probably can't finish that on stream. Disappointing, I know. But this will get the idea of what I want to see. God damn it. Um, but whatever. I'll probably just write in something that, like, if you find something that works, that isn't the actual answer, just accept it and have them shift. And then this one would be eight. This one would be all of them, so 10. So it'd be a four and a two. I'm just gonna not worry about where these are placed. One. Zero. And then along the side here, you'd have the same thing. So this would be a one, one, one. Another one, one, one. Three, four, six, four, two, two, four, six. So these numbers would be all you had. You had to place these in. The colors wouldn't matter. It would just be like all tile and you just like press them down or something and you make the image. This would not be the image because it is stupid. Um, I'd have to either make a little person, find something else that's more pan related. Oh, I can make his like harp. Harp might be cool. Um, let's see if I can draw a harp real fast. I like the idea of the 10 instead of 16 to keep it a little more simple. Oops. But obviously these numbers are now wrong, but I don't really care. Let me look up a pixel harp. Because doesn't he have that little pan pan flute? That's technically what it's called. Pan flute. Pixel pan flute. Hmm. That's not quite what I want because it's too much together. There's too many just like straight lines, which I mean, could be fine. Could be easy. This might work the best. If I take that, try to translate it over. Um, just do like brown here. So, I'm gonna put the, the brakes on it like that. There. And then each of these would be shorter. It's gonna be way too full. Yeah, I don't, that's not gonna look the way I want it to without color. And it would just look stupid overall. You'd be filling in way too much. Um, yeah, maybe pan flute's just not gonna work for that imagery without getting like way too detailed. Um, Do we still have pan up here? What else has he got? Hooves, birds. This is satyr. It'd be hard to make that. Pan pipes. Mountains, nature, passion, and shepherds. I could make a sheep. I could probably do that. Pixel art sheep. Okay. These are kind of adorable. I'm trying to find one that's like from a video game that if I steal it, I won't feel as bad. 
but otherwise I'm just gonna have to wing it here. Just use this reference. Um, so. If we're just referencing this. That's his little face. See, the problem is I'm trying to think in too much color. I'm not thinking what it's gonna be when it's done. So like you'd fill in that whole thing. Oh, I could just do just that face with like the blob around it. And just leave out the white from it. Instead. Half hour to draw a sheep. That's what my life has become. I could do like the Wallace and Gromit looking sheep. That'd be kind of fun. Of like something similar to that one like here's its ear its head um we gotta leave a spot for its eyes which we might need like one more in the middle for it makes it a little more floppy Yeah, I think I need one more spot to like make that work. Nah, I don't, God, I don't like how any of it looks. We might have to come back to that. It might just be uh, the concept is there and I have to actually make the puzzle. Oh wait, okay, okay, I got this. Yeah, I think it's gonna need a bigger grid either way. Um. I don't want the this, but I just kind of want that basic, the circle of it. Shit. I don't want pirate wheels. I want water wheels. Because then that's also hinting at like that's the actual source of the power versus the fountain that they're trying to fix. Technically, it's just a, a circle of spokes anyway. So every time, every time snipping. So it could just be. Okay, this is a terrible circle. Ignore it for the moment. It'll have to be bigger. Actually, that's not terrible. Um, we should have it odd though, so we can make a centerpiece. So do do do. do. So we can make it here. Copy, paste. We just slide this over one. And then we select this again. Copy, paste. Oh, shit. Move that down one. Okay, so there's the, the center, and then it's I kind of want them to be like off kilter, although I guess those are straight. In my head, I'm trying to make the little like hook part that catches the water. Not going to turn out the way I want. How if I just go straight out? I don't want to fill in all these, but that might look the best. I mean, that's kind of water wheelie. I must feel like it would look better if it didn't have, <laughs> yeah, that. Oh yeah, because it's highlighting the whole grid now. Of course it is. I shouldn't have done black. Oops. Well, this this is our life now. Um Go bigger so I can have my toolbar. There we go. 
Like, I almost feel like if these ones weren't filled in, it would look better. But I think it might lose, like, what the fuck is it doing now? But, actually, here, wait a minute. How if we just do... that? I think that gets the vibe. I think that's good enough in 11 by 11. I think that's a doable puzzle. So... God, all this fucking text here. Let's just take this. Hope that saves to the clipboard. We're just gonna paste it into our document just in case. And then we're going to new, don't save this, paste that in. Drag it to here. Probably just make it smaller again. Didn't need to reselect it, whatever. Make it look a little more square. Okay. Okay, we lost a couple of lines there. Let me fix those before we get too far into it. Okay, that's most of them are highlighted enough. So this is just a three. This is a two one two. Need a little more space, huh? Fine, I know that two's cut off, it's whatever. So this is also a two, one, two. Oof, five ones, so that's not gonna fit at all. But let's just drop that down to like a 10. This is just for reference. Again, I'm rewriting all this stuff. One, three, one. We can go back up to our 20. One, three, one. Uh, so this one is one, two, three, four, five, five. So everything's mirrored, which makes it a little easier to solve, I think. Um, but that's okay. It's not supposed to be like the most difficult puzzle in the world it's just supposed to make them think they aren't going to get hints it's just going to be like these numbers are on the floor and there's a bunch of tiles and then like maybe there's a hint if they search around i think i like that the best of like the puzzle doesn't have to be hard but you have to look to like figure out what you're supposed to be doing oh it's also mirrored this way Durr. it's a circle I just type this, huh? Two, oh, one, two. One, 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 one. Just, eh. Five, five, one, three, one. One, 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 one. Two, one, two. Two and two, three. I think that's fine as a, a puzzle. I'm actually pretty happy that that's what I came up with in the end. Um, oh, how on earth did I just not like copy that? Okay, there we go. So. We have some combat, a couple unique puzzles, a riddle we stole online. I would like to rewrite those. Um, I'm just not a good riddle writer. So I might have to think about how to rewrite riddles and like write my own for some plant related stuff in there. I guess that's what we can do for the next 15 minutes. And then we have the bare bones. Everything's written by us. Probably the shittiest one shot ever, but I think it'd be, I think you could decently run this and have some fun. Um, just run it as a quick dungeon. I mean, so what are some good 
clues that we could come up with. So actually, let's, I'm gonna not delete these. I like the idea of the time time. But I, I don't even want this plant. Like every second I grow, you cannot cut me or you will die. So I cut my time short. I really like that one as the problem. I need to find more. Um, what's that word? When two words sound the same, homonyms. Homonym. Like plant homonyms. I feel like these could also be super cheesy though. Wow, these are awful. That's awful. That's awful. Let's see if there's any that are like written here. Okay, those are just because they're from the same plant. Sure. Where's the other pick here? What the fuck? Hmm. Any of these plants? There's part, part, palm, palm. I don't hate this one because it's supposed to be a jung jungle. Okay, so here we go. Let's, we want palm. That's not the right one. Palm. Rose. And we need one more. We could do a bug. Um, let's see if there's any others here. Bank, nothing. I don't think jungles have fall as like the season. Let's see, let's see. Okay, let me just check images because I'm just gonna go through these grids. Oh, that was like all of them. Shit. Um, ant, ant. Okay, I don't hate air and air. Because we could also say that that person in the middle, that NPC is the heir to some throne or some house or something that would like be a reasonable riddle related to the situation. Um, yeah. Okay. So. I just don't like making puzzles, man. But other than combat and like just searching for things, what else is in D&D? You just roleplay. That's why I needed to read more. But I thought this would be fun. I, I don't know if it was fun for people or it would be fun to watch in the in the future. But I think it'll be more fun of once I clean it up, write a full one shot. You can see you back to like how I came up with it for like the basics and then just cleaned it up. Um, especially if I ran it. I think my friends who play D&D would be kind of interested. Probably not to watch the whole thing. <laughs> probably just make a quick like here's the 10 minutes of useful information out of this three hours and that's why normally i just do write them faster of just i just go with my first thought and if it's shit it's shit and i uh just uh improv my way through it essentially um anything else in here we could do wave for the water, but it, it's kind of weak. It's also a little extreme, so it doesn't have a ton. What is drop a homonym with? Like obviously the word drop. Okay, let's let's see what it says for that, because I'm kind of curious. Okay, so not really how I like think of these because I think of a drop but I don't 
hate that. So we have one relating to the water, one relating to plants. Two drop or drop of something. To me, it's like water is dropping and that's why it's called a drop, but whatever. Um, but it seems better than rose to me. Yeah, there's the fly one's very like obvious. Ooh, stock, like stock of a plant. That's, I like that one better than palm too. Okay, so we have water, plants, air. I think we can make them with these. Plant. So, I grow from the ground. God, I don't like the rhyme and f follow you around. Yeah, I, I hate that. Um, so. Oh, I'm terrible at this. Um, it's the the definition of air. Wish I could type. Person legally entitled to the property or rank on another person's death. Successor is the one I was thinking of the most. So, successor to something. Shoot. See, this is embarrassing to do on stream. I'm not intelligent enough to write fucking riddles. Um, I'm just trying to put down ideas at all. It's all so clunky. Isn't it? Because this, you know, drop of water to drop. I could write like a full thing like that. So, like. Um, fall to the ground when the air is too heavy. I think when the sky is too heavy. So it's like water, you know, it rains when the clouds get too heavy, so they have to drop it. It's a rain drop, and fall to the ground is drop. But then they just say rain drop. And that just seems like I'm straight up saying, like, it's not clever enough. Shit. Follow. What's the definition of stock of plant? Yeah, so it just supports the plant. along the lines of that yeah these ones are gonna take me a bit so if you see these uh this the same riddles in the final version you know that i didn't come up with shit um 
but I think we got the basics down enough that I can print this into a one shot without, with just adding some more details of like the rooms and everything. So I think we're gonna do the next, um, the last like four minutes of the stream looking partially at what people voted for mine. Okay, not, not bad, not as good as I'd hoped. Um, and we'll come up with whatever retro futurism. I don't even know what that means. Oh, okay, so like Fallout. Cool. Um, so like Tomorrowland style stuff. Technology that's like further back. Futuristic technology in a past era. That's a hard one to make a, a prompt with here. Fallout's my obviously like go to. Um, okay, I kinda like the one that we saw down there. So let me see what we can come up with here. So I want to take my prompt that I use for this one, because even if other people didn't like it, I did. this pop into here and I want a flying car from the like 60s I guess I could do like current retro futurism so like so flying okay here let's see if I can do this Volkswagen van with wings, uh, with airplane wings, let's be specific. Flying over like Woodstock. Let's see what that comes up with. Um, What else? good ideas here to try out. I feel like something like an old fashioned outfit in space is a lot of what they're looking for. So like Not exactly what I was hoping for. No, nice, some nice Volkswagen buses though. I really, I like the VW bus. So it's gonna be hard for me to work around that. So. Let's keep the whole word Volkswagen. Bus. On the moon with vintage astronauts. Let's see what that does. I mean, it's not like a perfect piece of artwork, but that's kind of what I was going for. See if we enhance this. So let's just evolve it and keep the same thing. See what it comes up with, like a slightly more. Okay, it doesn't want me to do that. Let's try this. But yeah, uh, we're ending the stream here pretty soon once I am happy with one of these. Thank you for coming out. Um, I don't know if this was necessarily successful. We had one person stop by and say hi. Um, I enjoyed the idea. I think in practice, this would be better for like a 
write it in one hour, run it for the next two short story of like you watch me come up with stuff then the players hop on and we play through the game and we see how it turns out or something of like everyone gets the same prompts and we compare what we came up with with those prompts with some people i think that would be a more interesting stream in the end but i still like the idea of doing this live and like getting more people's feedback on stuff as we go and like crowdsourcing ideas i think would be fun so um, it probably won't be back next week immediately. I will type this up and see what comes out of it, and then we'll try something else. So we're either going to start streaming a, another game next week or try another like one-off idea to see how it goes. Um, I haven't decided. But I once I finish this, it'll be posted on the Discord. I will probably make a little snip of like the whole story, building it to put onto YouTube at some point. The VOD will be up, of course. Um... And yeah, eventually it'll, it'll be something that you could play with your friends and see how poorly or well it goes for them. Um, and then let me know. I, I want, I've i always asked for feedback on my one shots when I run them. So I, of course, want them when writing because writing removes the element of my improv. And my improv is really what drives me as a DM. I am not a great writer. I don't come up with great hooks, but I'm pretty good in the moment at coming up with like little intricate things that make the world come alive so this is a what eight nine eight room is it nine i guess it is nine no seven room a seven room little dungeon um that you have to make last three hours so it might not have enough detail of course at the moment it doesn't for someone to run um and some people like that some people like going by the book more i'm more into improv um so i can never write like a run a pre-written campaign i have to just do my own because i can't follow the story but yeah uh it wasn't my favorite one shot that i've written but i've had so many that like weren't my favorite that i've written and then when i play them they're a lot better so we'll see what i can kind of adjust this to off stream to make into an actual story that might be playable and then i'll see if i can get some people who would like to play a one shot to play with it as i dm or even have someone else DM for me, and I'm just a bystander to watch and like see what they come up with in the moment. Um, I'd be fine with that as well. But yeah, so thanks for coming out. Um, don't don't know how it went. I I think it was okay. Viewer wise, we didn't do any worse than most of our other streams. So we'll see what the end result is, and if it comes up with a story that I really like, I'll be excited. Or if I just am okay with. But yeah, have a good night. Bye. Oh yeah, Fallout's back tomorrow as normal.